Hey, it's Laura. I just find an interesting video. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Sure. Oh, cool! It's a time-lapse video. So, um, time-lapse is a technique that consecutive images are captured in much lower frequency than they are projected. And the file is often saved as a video or series of photos. And in post-production, either through playing images in normal frame rate per second or through extracting frames from the video, the motion recorded in several minutes, hours, or even days and years can be sped up and played in very short amount of time, creating such best motion effect. All right, but it looks like the speed up effect. Is there any difference between time lapse and speed up? Um, you know what? It's the same mechanism behind these two. But video recording in normal speed captures more image than it does in low frame rate per second mode. So as a result, it ended up being quite large file size as well as more battery use. So if you want to make a time lapse video, it's recommended to record in time lapse mode rather than speed up in post production. Got it. I guess I could make a time lapse video with my iPhone, right? Because I could find a time lapse option in camera. Yeah, you know, time lapse mode is available in major cell phones, but the features simple and limited. Like for your iPhone, you can only record with an interval of 6 seconds. I see. Are there any apps to make time lapse video in your cell phone? Yeah, there are some apps like uh, Osnap or Time Lapse Pro. And these apps offer more options, like setting an interval of 30 seconds or even 60 seconds. Do you usually make a time lapse video with your cell phone? Um, nope. You know, with cell phone, you can only make some simple time lapse videos. But if you want to make high quality video or more professional video, it's recommended to use an DSLR or GoPro. You know what? I just bought the latest GoPro for your file. What? Could you show me how to make a time lapse video with it? Sure, that sounds awesome. Um, why don't we go out and take a shot? Sounds great. Come on, let's go. All right, before we get started, we need to stabilize the GoPro camera to ensure the outcome quality. Personally, I would prefer a tripod like this. See? You can also use a gimbal. With clamp clip, you can customize the angle it's like 360 degree. See? Like this. Or any other way you can think of to stabilize the camera. Maybe this? See? Next, we need to put GoPro in time lapse mode. The easiest way is to click this button on the bottom left and choose the third one, time lapse. Now you see there are three options time lapse video, time lapse photo, and line lapse photo. Hey Henry, yep. what's the difference between time lapse video and time lapse photo? Well, time lapse video is best for beginner. The outcome will be saved as a video file, and time lapse photo is for intermediate or pro users. The outcome will be saved as a series of photos and then you'll need to line them up in the video editor like GoPro Studio and maybe adjust the duration and colors etc to export the video. It sounds very complicated, but why should someone use this mode? Well, the visual quality is much better in this mode because for GoPro camera, saving photos involves much less compression than saving videos. But on the other hand, the file size could be huge, gigantic in this time-lapse photo mode. Got it. As a beginner, I would start with the time-lapse video mode. Yes, exactly. And when the visual quality is a priority, you can try this time-lapse photo mode. Another question. Yeah? What's the difference between time-lapse photo and the night-lapse photo? Well, night-lapse photo is literally for shooting time-lapse in the night view. And what makes it special? Well, let's take a look at the comparison in shooting night-view time-lapse between this mode and normal time-lapse photo mode. 
As you can see, the sky looks much brighter in night-lapse mode than in normal time-lapse mode, in which the sky is barely visible. Why? Because in night-lapse mode, we can customize shutter speed. And if we set the lower shutter speed in the night view, the camera has more time to capture more lights. So as a result, the sky looks much brighter. But in the normal time-lapse mode, the shutter speed is fixed. All right, understood. So next, I'm going to show you how to set up and shoot time-lapse in these three modes. All right, let's first take a look at the time-lapse video. So you see, on the bottom of the screen, there are three parameters. So resolution and FOV, which is field of view, are easy to understand. And let's take a look at the interval here. So we can adjust the interval between each image being captured from 60 seconds all the way to half seconds. If you want to shoot the time-lapse of sky, like how cloud moves, if the recommended interval is 5 seconds or 10 seconds. And then, just press the recording button to begin shooting. Next, we are going to time-lapse photo. Select it. So there isn't much difference in the interface, but let's swap to left. You see, there are many advanced options, like color, white balance, ISO, and sharp. Just go through each option, like if we change the white balance, you see, there's obvious difference. At last, let's take a look at night lapse mode. The unique option is the shutter speed. According to my experience, with 10 seconds for shutter speed and 50 seconds for interval, the quality is optimal. All right, so that's how we shoot time lapse with GoPro. It's not that complicated. Flora, give it a shot. Sure, I will go.